Good morning, folks. Today we'll hit an earthquake, storm Craython on Taiwan's doorstep, an interesting look at an ancient subduction zone, but of course, the top story is the X7 solar flare, the second largest of the solar cycle so far. We'll dive into this starting with the last 24 hours on our star, where we do have major sunspots, more incoming, and the solar flaring has kicked into higher gear. We've discussed how a Riger cycle uptick was due in October or November. Looks like it's not wasting any time. The solar flare came from the developing active region on the south, flare flash here in 94 angstroms. As I mentioned, the solar flare hit X7 level, an X-class flare event of strong magnitude. Again, second strongest of solar cycle 25. The interacting fields near the delta-class magnetic complexity zone collided and released the event, which wasn't of terribly long duration, thankfully, but was still strong enough to produce a coronal mass ejection. The flare itself created a high-frequency radio blackout over the Pacific, and as that was waning, the radio signature of the CME reached Earth. SOHO shows the CME as being very sparse and lacking significant density, but a halo nonetheless. The initial Enlil spiral shows the eruption heading for Earth. They have it hitting Saturday, October 5th, but I would guess it might arrive before that. Severe effects are not expected, although geomagnetic storms and a solid auroral outbreak are likely. Eyes open for that and for more eruptions as these sunspots have both size and magnetic complexity and could flare again at any time. Also have a new sunspot incoming on the north. Looks to be a fairly big one up there on the left. So let's go now to Storm Craython, churning just offshore Taiwan and heading for main impact later tonight. It's been affecting the island already and will have its hardest hit coming up here as we turn towards the end of the week. Best wishes to the locals there. Also had a 6.6 .6 earthquake to report from Tonga, downgraded from initial magnitude of 6.8, but luckily it was offshore so shaking at the inhabited islands was minimal. Top Science article today discusses an ancient piece of the crust that has sunk down into the mantle and actually cut the LLSVP in the Pacific in two, bifurcating the superplume as it sinks. It's mostly interesting because it actually explains the odd shape of the Pacific LLSVP compared to the African superplume, the internal handlebar structure protruding from the core, creating the largest geophysical asymmetry of Earth density just got a little bit easier to understand. Folks, I was all by myself at the ranch yesterday, so I decided to spend some time practicing with the bow. But Saturday is when I'll be out there again, and look who will be just across the street. Special forces are bringing Gatlin guns and other machine guns for anyone to try. What a good reason to come see us this weekend when this will be right across the street. Lots of cool events coming up at the ranch, including the return of conference-like info drops. Book your spot can't wait to see you in person. ObserverRanch.com We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now it's 5.15 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.